if you work in this lifetime to open up the chakras, does that carry over into other lifetimes? Yes, of course. Whatever you do in this lifetime, you take with you into your next incarnation. So if you spend you know, this lifetime really working and developing an inner life and you have to reincarnate, you will bring that with you. And the incredible thing about that is the incarnation, uh, the beginning, you know, it's on a very, very high level. So yes, yes. Not everybody gets enlightenment in this lifetime. People carry it over. People also carry over a lot of negative nonsense that they do. That they not only have to work out in this lifetime, they got to work it out in I don't know how many lifetimes to come. So we bring with us whatever it is we are, because that's what we have to learn how to work through in order to finally attain a state of enlightenment. So the heart has to be open, hearts open, there's kindness, there's love, there's compassion, you know, person becomes a happy person, and if they have to reincarnate, they come into the world that way. And we also bring the wisdom with us that we receive from the universe into the next lifetime. That's why I don't, I can't emphasize it enough how important it is to develop the chakra system. I mean, basically, what does it amount to? How much time is invested? You know, there are three classes a week here. So that's three hours a week. And then maybe sitting down 20 minutes every day instead of watching television or something, you know, and doing a meditation practice. I mean, it's not fanatical, this but it truly works to develop the inner life of a human being. And it takes that, it takes you know, attending meditation classes, getting the energy, the Shakti, sitting down maybe 20 minutes a day. I mean, is there anybody here that doesn't waste 20 minutes in a day? Instead of wasting it, they can use it to just sit down and do a little work on themselves. So the amount of time invested is very minimal. It's not like I know in Zen, you to learn Zen, they have Zazen where you got to sit for 12 hours. You know, and if you move a finger, they hit you over the head with a stick. You know, I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's very, but the truth is if you do this meditation for an hour, 20 minutes, I, you get enough energy for a week. So, I mean, it's important to recognize what we need to invest in order to take something out. And uh, that is the key to it, finding the time, investing the time, attending meditation classes, sitting and working on yourself at home. I mean, it doesn't keep one from going to a movie, theater, you know, <laughs> having dinner with friends, you know, it, going to a concert, taking a stroll, you know, 
getting exercise, going to the gym, going, you know, everything is possible. I mean, you know, there are a lot of hours in a day and there's time to do whatever we have to do with our day. Does, does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? I have one question, uh, Stuart. Yes. It's a follow-up it's a follow -up question. What, what, what do you mean with if you have to reincarnate? I mean, do you have a choice? Can you also not reincarnate or...? or... Yes, <laughs> you can okay. attain your a state of enlightenment in this lifetime and the soul has learned everything it has to learn here and it can move on to another dimension of consciousness and whatever it has to learn there it will learn i mean what do we have to learn here you know it, it's very simple it's how to transform suffering into love that's what we're born here to learn i mean this whole freaking planet eight billion strong everybody is suffering from one thing or another. And the whole secret of getting free of all this is how to turn the suffering into happiness, into love, into joy. So we develop a chakra system that is strong enough to do that. Once we attain that, you understand, the next step is just a oneness with higher energy. We have learned what we have to learn on the earth. Then, you know, can step off the merry-go-round. The soul evolves to another plane of consciousness where there's something to learn. I mean, the evolution never stops. You understand? Energy in the universe is infinite. What's limited is the mind, emotions, physical, material things. That is it born, it lives, it dies. Everything else, the soul it evolves endlessly into the cosmos. And we're here to learn something. You know, <laughs> really. And everything we do should remind us that we have to learn something even more important because most, you know, the you know, money and this and that, they, it doesn't make anybody really happy. It provides a certain level of physical security, you know, okay. But I mean, I've been around enough really wealthy people in my life to know that I've never met a happy, wealthy person. And it's a simple answer. The heart has to open, chakra has to develop. There has to be joy, love in us, forgiveness, all of those words that we hear all our life. And yet to live with them and to do them is very difficult because one has to develop the capacity inside themselves to do it. And when we finally experientially begin to live that way, we're free. We finally evolve to a place where there is a state of freedom. And what are we free of? We're not free racially and politically and all this. We're free of ourselves, which is the ultimate freedom to get free from oneself. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? Yeah. 
I hope all this is clear, you know, it's very important basic things we have to learn about why we do inner work. Okay, if there are no more questions, then there'll be meditation on Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing. I mean, today, this is a really long day for me. I have, I don't know how many classes today, you know. So God bless you all. And thanks for being here, for being involved in this. I mean, I think this last couple of years doing this has been a really a miracle. And so bless you. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.